Our task was to build a device that can accurately measure surface tension. There were many other options, but we chose the single beam balance as shown here. On this side of the balance, it consists of a hook, thread, needle, ball, and wooden block. The thread attaches to the hook and needle so the, in the center of the needle so that it hangs horizontally. You don't have to make it hang perfectly horizontally, but you want it to get as close as you can. This bowl is what well, you put the liquid in. We have water here for our demonstration. The liquid should be filled so that it so the needle floats, but so that the thread has a little slack. The needle could also be replaced by anything that floats on the surface of water. Um, I suggest something like our needle here, like a paper clip wire. And the block is here just to support the bowl. Over here we have a pan and some uncooked corn kernels. These are the weights, each about one gram. We place these on the pan to make to make this go down, to lift this up to cause the needle to surface from the liquid. The amount of corn kernels it takes to lift the needle is the measurement. When you first attach the pan to the needle, the pan will most likely be heavier. So you want this, the beam here, to be perfectly even. To do that, you have to use a counterbalance. We chose modeling clay. If you see around the hook, it's this black part. This is the modeling clay that we used. It can be found in stores like Target, Walmart, or crafting stores. Here, there are two supports holding this up. The nail goes through the first support, and then the beam, then the nail runs through the second support. This is a demonstration of the process of how to do this. First, you take the liquid, we have water, and fill it so that the needle rests on the surface, but that the thread has a little slack. Then, you take some corn kernels, place them on the pan one by one until the needle surfaces from the liquid. And as you can see here, we have three. After you've measured the amount of corn kernels, there's a formula that can be used to convert the measurement into newtons. This formula is force equals 2SD. You must multiply it by 2 because the film of water has two surfaces. D is the length of the needle or wire in meters, and S is the surface tension in newtons per meter. S can be calculated by multiplying the number of corn kernels by 9.83 by 0 0.001. So the product of 2SD is the force of newtons. So the total equation is force equals 2SD. The way to calculate S is to do the number of corn kernels, which would actually be the grams, but since each one is about, is about one gram, you multiply the number of corn kernels by 9.83 by 0 0.001, which the product is 0.02949. The needle is 5 centimeters or 5% of a meter. So for this calculation, you do F times 2 times 0 0.0. 2949 from here, then 0 0.05, which is the length. That comes out to 0 0.002949. So 0 0.002949 is the force in Newtons. The single beam balance is very accurate and is very easy to use after it is constructed.